that's me top top of my favorite video on the channel and in this video i will show you guys how to create a minecraft server without port forwarding in 2021 it's actually really easy to create a micro server without port forwarding you can create servers using websites but a lot of times they're not even that good and sometimes they're paid for um you can also create them on your desktop but you can't port forward it through your desktop unless you use homage Redmond, and even that has its own limitations now this way is unlike all those ways and it's very very simple now before we get into that make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and yeah guys let's get right into this tutorial now first off you need this this is the only application that you really need um i saw it from the actual minecraft server jar so just download it for your version they they have linux they have windows they have raspberry pi and mac os and you know just download it depending on what computer you're, you're using let's go to mcversions.net um, and this is where you'll download your server.jar. Now you can use the um, you know the Minecraft website to I guess download a server, but a lot of times they only have the latest released. Obviously, you might want to play 1.15.2, for example, 1.14.4. You know, like there's a lot of different versions. Basically, there are just more options here than um, you know on the actual Minecraft website. So yeah, just download it and once you're done downloading the server put both of those in a separate folder away from any of the other things such as downloads and whatnot just put it in its own little folder both of these and it doesn't really matter for the play it.win but it does definitely matter for the server.jar it's just recommended to have both of them in the same location because it's just easier access i suppose so you double click on the server.jar and most of you probably have already done this but I'll go through it again just so that people know what they're doing. Once you double click the server.jar, it should um, create the logs, Yula text, and server properties. For the Yula text, change this right here to true, uh, true, true. And then you double click on it again, and it should start to create your Minecraft server. Now, this isn't port forwarded just yet. There's a few things that I want you guys to do in order to make sure that the server works perfectly fine. So I'll let this create its little world and then once it it's you know finished with that um, I'll exit this out for now and you could just open up this application and then you know play the server this way but if you play the server like it is right now it's gonna be very very slow and so let me show you how to make it faster so first off double click the server properties and if one of your friends lives in another country i recommend changing this right here the view distance to a lower number than it already is maybe seven maybe six five don't make it too low like three for example or else it won't be a very playable experience unless you have to create it you know using the view distance of three so um you i'm gonna recommend five and if you really you know think that your friend's connection is a lot better you can create it to, you know you can uh have it at six or seven if it's worse then have it as four or five or four or three excuse me and you know just simply adjust it accordingly towards how your friend's you know performance is in game now once you're finished with the server properties, create a new text document and call it like, you know, start or something like that. And then have your um, view in your uh, Windows Explorer set to um, enable file name extensions so that you can edit this text document extension. Oh, whoops, I accidentally deleted it. So you can edit the text document extension to dot .bat and then hit yes to change it and then right click on it, hit edit, paste this which will be in um, the description, paste this into this um, document here. Now I want you to change this number right here and this number right here depending on the amount of ram you have on your computer now how do you check your ram well you go down to the search bar 
type in settings, go to system, and then hit the about. And then right here is where the RAM will be displayed. Now, depending on that number, don't put all of the RAM in there, but put like, I guess, how much you would probably need for a server. Um, if you're doing, let's say, a modded server, I recommend around six and then, you know, two for the values. Or if it's like um, a vanilla server, maybe put it as four and one. If you have 16, you can probably use up to eight gigs of RAM. If you have um, eight gigs total, then use four. Uh, if you have 4 gigs total, then use 2. Basically, like, half, I guess, for here, unless you have anything more than 16 gigs of RAM. I think I contradicted myself there a little bit. I'm sorry if that's very confusing, but um, for me, I'm just going to put 6 and then put 2. So this is just a vanilla server, and, you know, I have enough memory um, to put into this, so, yeah. And now that you've created the start.bats, um, there is an optional step that you can do, uh, which helps with, you know, once again, people from outside of your uh, country joining a server. But this is very unnecessary. And um, honestly, I think the server.properties thing should have fixed the problem initially uh, if your friends from outside of your country can't join. This optional step is to change the server's location um, from like, let's say, New York to San Francisco or New York to Sydney or Sydney to Dallas or, you know, something like that. To start, open up the player.gg. It should list out a bunch of, I guess, you know, tunnels right here. Now, the way to edit the server um, tunnel, I guess, is to have a env file, which before you create the .env file, have a text document with no, um, I guess, name, just nothing in front of it. What we're going to do is that we're going to paste the next thing that is shown within the uh, description. So it should look something like this. And the tunnel name um, is right over here um, from that list of tunnels that we saw. Uh, I have my preferred tunnel as NY3. And the way to tell which tunnel would suit you personally, take a look at some of the uh, MSs here. And you can tell by the MS which, I guess, server um what's it called which i guess you know tunnel should be suited for you but you're not really looking for you know the best tunnel for you personally if you're trying to get your friend um in order to play you know like with them and have them have a better time of running the server um than they currently do now basically you're trying to look for a server that's in between um his connection and your connection well, his or her connection, we don't assume genders here. So basically, um, in my case, let's say I have a friend in um, the UK or somewhere in Europe. I would probably go with um, a connection like WAR. I forgot exactly where that is, but I know that it's somewhere around there. Um, you also have one here that says like, that's like for Sydney, one for Toronto. I'm assuming that's for Singapore, I think. Um, and you see, yeah, there's a lot of like different, um, you know, connections to choose from, uh, you know, and they're probably gonna add more within the near future. Um, so yeah, overall, just pick the one that is, you know, best suited for you and, you know, your friend as well. Once you have, you know, your preferred tunnel set, rename this so that it says dot env with no actual name except for the file extension. Just env with no other file extension added to it or you know any name or anything like that just env and then it'll turn to env file after you have everything perfectly set up you can hit the play it dot, uh, dash win or whatever it is for you like play it linux play it mac whatever double click it when you first double click it or oh, well actually every time you double click it it should take you to this page 
Now, I actually have three IPs here, mainly because I keep um, creating more and more tunnels. Uh, so you can actually have a max of three different tunnels, which there is no real reason to have three different tunnels, um, at least from what I've seen. But if you want to have three different tunnels, you can have three different tunnels. So I'm going to enable one of them. Um, so let's say I choose to leave the crown tunnel. So I'll copy the IP address. Actually, wait, let me show you how to add a tunnel. Normally you would see a add tunnel button here, but in the case of me, since I already have a max of three tunnels, um, let me just show you the page that it looks like. This is the page that it looks like where it's supposed to say add, right, like, like this for example, add, and then you would just add it in. But like I said before, since I already have a max of three tunnels, I can't add another tunnel. Let's go on to the whole, you know, server joining process. It's really as simple as just Hitting the start bat, which if everything works correctly, it should start up the server and is clearly, you know, start up the server once you see this menu right here. If, it, if you see this menu, then most likely you can open up your Minecraft launcher, hit play, hit add server, paste the IP address. The server will appear right here. Hit join. Okay, it's logging in right now. And there we go. As you can tell, we are in the little world here. Um, it works perfectly fine, breaking things, killing chickens. It's perfectly fine. So, that is it for this tutorial um, about how to create a micro server for you and your friends. Uh, normally, I would, you know, try to get someone to help me, like, show that it works, but as you can tell, I have no one here. So, yeah, you have to stay over for it and see if, you know, uh, it works for you and your friend. Um, but yeah, it works. If you have any questions, oh god, if you have any questions, please make sure to join their Discord server. Now, it's not a guarantee that they'll answer all your questions more, you know, accurately than I do, but I'm pretty sure they know more about their software than I do. So I recommend that you check out their Discord so that you can get advice, help, whatever, um, to starting up your server using playit.gg. So, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the bell, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Remember to be it. So I'll see you guys next video. Take care and good.